Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes rolling out on Windows 11 build 26002 through the Canary channel. These changes are not tied to any specific version of Windows and Microsoft can ship them during a regular or feature update or the company can choose not to ship them at any time. Okay, here are the new changes for Windows 11 build 26002. First, let's go to system and on the power page. Now we're going to see that we have a new energy saver setting that replaces the battery saver mode and the company defines it as a quick way to extend the battery life and reduce energy by trading off some of the performance of the system. Like the battery saver feature, you can configure it to run automatically whenever the device reaches a certain battery percentage and you can also turn it on from the quick settings menu which is this button right here. So basically, this is the same battery saver feature available on Windows 11, but the name now indicates that it's not only just to save battery, instead it's to save energy as well. And that means that you can reduce your energy usage if you're using a computer without a battery and it's connected directly to the power outlet and on laptops. So for example, battery saver mode was only available on laptops or when the system detected a battery. Now this energy saver mode is going to be available regardless whether you have a battery or not. Just to show you what I mean, I just disconnected the battery backup from the virtual machine. And now when we go to system, now we see that the name of the page has been change just to power because it's not connected to a battery but now even though we don't have a battery we can see that we have the energy saver feature and we can still turn it on and off however the option to turn on this feature automatically when the battery drops to a certain percentage is only available on computers that include a battery so i just reconnected the battery backup to the virtual machine that i'm using and now when we go to the same page we can see that we have the option to turn on the feature automatically and we also get the battery usage setting now i don't think this is specific to windows 11 build 26002 but now the system includes a setting to control the action for the power button whether you're plugged in into a power outlet or when you're running on battery so this feature is not new to windows since this option has been available for a long time in control panel but now it's available through the settings app and the options are available are shut down, display off and do nothing or just to sleep the device. The same for battery. Of course, if you are using a computer without, without a battery backup or a laptop, you're only going to see the option that is for plugged in devices. Also new to Windows 11 build 26002, when we go to the install apps page, the system will now remove the color backplates for the app icons, as you can see right here. So now we're just going to see the icon and not the background on the back. And this change is also available through the notifications page. But I don't know if you can notice, but the backplate is actually white and Microsoft hasn't completely removed it yet. Microsoft also notes that it is now rolling out the account related notifications for Microsoft accounts on the homepage for the settings app and on the start menu. So in future releases of Windows, now you're going to get notifications to update your account settings or to back up your data to OneDrive. And according to the company, the settings to turn that on and off is available through the privacy settings and more specifically on the general page. However, I haven't seen that option right here, but if we go to system, actually if we go to personalization and then we go to the start page, we're going to see that we have the showed account related notifications right here. However, this might change on future bills and maybe we're going to have 
just one setting on the general page on the privacy section. Finally, Microsoft is also updating the uh, quick settings flyout and now on the Wi-Fi settings, you're going to get a button to rescan or refresh the list of nearby networks and that has been spotted on the past but I don't have it on my installation but I do have a screenshot that shows how that uh, refresh button uh, looks like and it's going to be on the bottom right corner. Also if you have a VPN connection, actually if you have one or multiple VPN connections, the setting will now expand automatically the first connection to make it easier to connect to the to the VPN. In the past it will just show up like this and you have to like click and then click the connect button. So basically you're going to be saving one click just to connect faster to that VPN server. And that is all there is to it. Those were the most significant changes that you're going to find on Windows 11 build 26002. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.